and go to last September's vlogs, you'll find a video there of little woolly bats, Caragula hardwickii in Borneo. I didn't intend to train those. I just wanted to get them tame enough so I could hand feed them without them flying away from me in my studio. Nobody had ever kept them in captivity before because they only weigh four grams and they thought they were too small to be kept too fragile. These bats turned out to be wonderful bats to keep in captivity. And they learned on their own how to come to me when they wanted food even when I didn't call them. And I would go into my studio to work and they might be hungry. And this video, you'll see it very plainly in the video. This little bat keeps flying up and bumping me in the nose to get my attention to hold out a mealworm in my hand to feed it. It'll keep bumping me in the nose until I hold out a mealworm and then it flies up, lands on my hand, gets a mealworm. Clever dude. So anyway, all I did was tame this bat enough so it wasn't afraid of us to be photographed. Well, Sara came back with these banana flowers and, and when these bracts opened and the flowers started to look ready and after sundown, I went up and I touched them and, 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 and no pollen got on my fingers. And I said, well, you know, it's late in the season, there's something wrong with these flowers. And Sora actually believed me that there must be something wrong with the flowers. And we almost didn't try to photograph the bat pollinating because we thought we had bad flowers. But I finally said, well, you know, we, well, I felt sorry for Sora. He'd gone out and worked two hours to get the flowers, and I figured I'd, I'd better at least try. So we finally put one of these flowers in, and look what happened when the bat stuck his head in. We didn't even think they were shedding any pollen. If you were a bee or something coming up to the exterior, you couldn't have gotten any pollen out of that flower, which leads me to believe that these must be almost totally bat dependent for pollination. But once this little bat came up and rammed his nose up in there, he came out just covered with pollen. That's Neonicter's close up. I think that's 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 all. If you, if, this is my website if you want to get more in. Let me tell you something. Almost almost all the pictures you've just seen are available on my website. You can download them for free and put them that they're they're 72 dots per inch. But that's all you need for any kind of uh, PowerPoint or other uh, website use. <coughs> Should you need them for nonprofit conservation publication, all you have to do is send me an email, tell me which, which one you want, and I'll send it to you in large format so that you can publish it. I do this for people all the time. So you don't have to think, oh, if I only had good durian pictures, I could educate people. I've got them. And you could spend a lot of money trying to get one as good as I already have, but you can have mine for free if it's for nonprofit conservation. I do charge when it's for profit because I'll tell you, these pictures cost me a hundred times more than I'll ever make in selling them. They're very expensive to take these trips. It takes me weeks sometimes to get to a place and get set up to take the pictures. But I do this for conservation. So any of you who are doing conservation and you need help, there's nothing like, you know, I told you today in the plenary session about how I got the cave on Small Island in the Philippines protected by just showing the people the during pollination saying, hey, this many bats could pollinate tens of millions of during flowers in one night. That's all it took to get them protected. You can download during pollination pictures from my site Put them in a PowerPoint program. Put some of your own pictures from locally in there. And you can do the same things I'm doing to get people to protect bats. And it's powerful. It's really powerful. So I'll feel bad if none of you order pictures. I'd like to help you. And I've now held you captive audience for a long time. I'm still willing to stay longer if you have more questions, but you can escape if you don't. <laughs> and I do have plenty more programs I could show you. <laughs> One question is about the the, the, the bat in Austin under the bridge. Uh -huh. Will the vibrations from the 